Yo, welcome back. Nicholas Adam is here. Uh, we are at a property going to try and fault find. So the problem we've got, which I spoke to them last night, we've got a square D board. This is Economy irrelevant. Seven. Yeah. One RCD covering all the circuits. When they put too many appliances on in the kitchen or in the house or in the shower, the RCD trips. So we've got a bit of a fault somewhere and my phone's ringing again already. What would you say? Oh, I can't repeat what I said, but these are something gross. Yeah. These breakers square are the older in the D bottom. Boards. In case you've never seen a square D board, some of the younger guys, it's like upside down. That's how these ones work. So they have a, it's a, it's a bus bar. Me and Adam say, and me and Dave say, bus bar. This, it's, we call it a buzz bar because in it terminal, buzzes. it buzzes. It shouldn't really buzz, but we get corrected quite a lot. It's a bus bar, it's a bus bar. But the bus bar is located behind and the square D breakers have clips on it. So they physically clip into the bus bar and everything's sort of upside down. That's the way they did it. Did I knock that off then? Or was no, that, that was already off. off. This got off. sent. Right. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna stick the earth clamp meter across the tails outside. We're gonna measure the earth leakage. One by one, we'll just chuck a couple of appliances on. Sorry, first of all, we're gonna do a ramp test. Adam, ramp test? Yeah. So we'll let Adam set that up, we'll stick it in a socket, give that a go, film the thing, do the earth clamp meter outside and see if we can figure out what fault's going on. For a fault like this, it could easily be an appliance when stuff's turned on, if there's a uh, earth fault in it, washing machine, tumble dryer, kettle, shower, really anything that I would say that has an element in it, yeah. it's very possible that this could happen. So the coffee machine, toaster, we've had it before where a toaster had been had a bit of bread stuck in it and it was linking between the metal of the casing and the element. You can easily trip it, but it's one of them things. So I've just noticed that as well. What's that? Normally suspect. That under yeah, both heater thing. Yeah, so there's quite a few appliances in such a little kitchen. So we'll get the tester up and we'll show you what a ramp test is. This is the perfectly located bush for oh, our... No, it's okay, mate. So we've got two isolators, one for economy seven. <laughs> what did you just say? So do you want me to hold it back while you film? What, the bush? So your mum said. Uh, so we'll stick the clamp around that in a little bit. So the setting we're going to use on the Mega is five the, times. No, no, the triangle. Oh yes, triangle for the round right. test. So that will go through all the sequences of the tester. So half times, one times, five times, on 30 milliamp. Adam will plug it in. I can then sit here, and then the final ramp test when it goes through all of its. Well, hang on, no, the ramp test button is just the ramp. It will just trip it to. Yeah, it auto sorry, does auto does it all through the sequences. Yeah. My bad. It's too early in the morning. Let me turn this light on. So with the ramp test, it will literally take this up to its limit, trip it, and it will tell you what it's tripping at. It's meant to be 30 milliamp. They never are. New ones are around about 27, 28 milliamp. One of this size and age, covering all these circuits on a board. It has no labeling whatsoever, fantastic. To my knowledge, this is probably about 15 years old. We all know there's be some degre degradation, degradation? Deterioration, same word, different story. Um, also, I've had my hair cut, the barber cut my hair way too short, so. Nice one. Um, Sorry? Do you want to film this? Or do you no, to... you click that, mate, and I'll, and I'll record this. Probably more, it's probably more interesting this side, though, isn't it? Surely. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, I'm about to click it. Oh, hang on. Everyone has asked as well, can you stop saying right, so? Oh, yeah. I know. It's really yeah. annoying, but I just... I need new phrases to start okay. when um, I start recording. Just say hello there. Every time. No, no, no. Like, Kenobi. It's just like, so, I'm right at starting the, uh, what do you call it? Sentence? No, that's what I'm struggling at. Like, say if I start recording and I'm like, already done to it, I'm like, so I've done this. Right, if you want to say right so, that's fine. I'll just cut it out every single time. Yeah. Because it's... Annoying. So annoying. I, I do you it. You just said it. Right so. <laughs> yeah, because I copy you. Oh my God. Anyway, right. go on. Here we go. That was a big clunk. 21. So, realistically, that's not very bad. That's not, oh my God. That's okay for it. So we're really looking at earth leakage somewhere. This is the best thing about fitting RCBO boards is you have an MCB and an RCD combined. So if there's any fault, any type of fault on any circuit, it will only just trip that circuit. This is what we're trying to get across to people now and homeowners. We're gonna stick the earth climb meter, which is located. <laughs> somewhere. Here. We'll stick this around the uh, live and neutral tail. It'll tell me the earth leakage current that it's coming back through so we can sort of make a mark of what it is. Normally, in a sort of a three bedroom house, 
that has computers, smart TVs, or smart devices that give off earth leakage, we'll be looking around about 10 to 12 yeah, milliamps. Yeah, I was going to say 12 normally. But to kick it up to 21, there's going to be something somewhere. We're going to start with this, see how we get on with turning appliances on, see if it jumps up, and then we'll start probably just break the ring, do some insulation resistant tests on different circuits, see what we come out with to then hopefully pinpoint something. But because this doesn't trip all the time, this is a very, very awkward fault to find, as any of you sparks would know, is if you get somewhere and the RCD physically won't reset, it's very simple for us to unplug everything, disconnect stuff, figure out very quickly what's what. But a fault that doesn't trip all the time, I would say most of the time it is an appliance. And I hope you guys would agree with me. If you don't, let us know in the comments. I'm going to stick this around here. Yeah, I might as well film this. Oh, you've got one in out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I can just go around this bit, can't I, really? Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's just live and neutral as well, isn't it? Yeah. Let me get rid of this. So, we're running at 9 milliamp already. Yeah, but we've got one breaker off, remember? What one. is that? Uh, 16. Lounge. Shower. Is it? No, shower's number 32. Immersion, lounge. I have no idea what those is. Connections? So that's with that off. The kitchen is all on, correct or not? Uh, well, the appliances are plugged in, but they're not on. Do you know what I mean? Does that make a difference? Is the fridge on? Yeah, the yeah. fridge is on. Okay, so. There's a few spurs everywhere as well. Yeah, what's it? This one's off. So turn the few spur on. Yeah. What's it going to do? What the? Oh, it's Where's the that noise? Oh. Yeah, I'll have a look at it. What's it on now? I presume they never turned that on. Okay, that's just jumped up. I saw it jump to 21 then. Right, so it's, it's sitting around 15. So that's turn that off for me. So you can see the difference if that was, you know, that's five, six thing. milliamp. That's that's a good chunk. Um, power, see, we don't really want to turn the washing machine on. Uh, to do the toaster for just push the toaster down so everyone can see the difference. Why well, have I still got the film on this? Right, that's both sides on the toaster. Get off. People at home will be cursing me. Adam, I'm taking the film off it. Here you go. The film? Yeah. Off what? The clamp meter. So that's that's sitting the same, so you can turn that off. Uh, we've got a kettle in here. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, then let me unplug the desk. So uh, all we're doing now is the process of elimination, just trying to cross some things off. The heater was terrible, but that is a massive heating element, like we've said. Anything with an element, cause a lot of earth leakage. The kettle, it should jump up quite a substantial amount as well. Right, we are on. We're on. So it's jumped up to 14. So already... That's 18. So 19. put the heater on and put the kettle on, and we'll show everyone what it goes up to. We're on 20. 20.4. Okay, it's just jumped down to 14 then, because the kettle's initially kicked in. Yeah. So it starts before it starts now. making this noise. Yeah, so... Yeah, and you think that's going to draw a lot? That will draw. We've got a tumble dryer in here, a condenser one, the, is the microwave, on the, the oven is probably... It's got a thingy, but it looks like a, doesn't look like a hard wired one, does it? No, it does. It's a freestanding hard wired one. Really? The, if you turn one of the uh, oven elements on now, let's make sure there's nothing in there, because I've been there and done that before. It's a bit of foil, that's fine. Uh, that's a hob. So go across to that setting. Yeah, that's This it. one. Oh, hang on, which is the arrow? Yeah, see it on this That's one. the grill. That's the bottom one. You have to turn that on. That's on now. That's not up to... It's fluctuating. So now it's going down to 7. <laughs> but it was up to 16. Did I turn the setting? What about now? Yeah, it's jumped up to 11. What about now? So we have... So it's down to 4 now. Yeah, it's going to turn it off. Right. So what we have is already a high load on it for realistically nothing plugged in. Correct? That's yeah. turned off. These are all off. The washing machine is off. No, that's on, that is. The fridge. Is there an ISO for the fridge up top? Yeah, go on. Yeah. That was nothing. Literally nothing. All right, I'm gonna turn it back on before we forget. Let's have a look everywhere. We've got a lamp, we've got smart, home, stuff. It says the lounge is off on the fuse board, but there's, there's, there's sockets on the here. The lamps are on as well, yeah. Uh, you can turn these off. Adam, there's no food in there, mate. You can't pinch that. Uh, so, what we're doing, we've unplugged everything, we've got it down to 2.2. 2. 
So really, that'll just be lighting. If we go around and turn all the lights off, it's gonna drop down pretty much to nothing. So I'm gonna go and jump in the loft, have a look, because they're in this EPC report, and they said the, the problem started when someone went up in the loft. So I'm gonna double check he's not kicked a junction box or stamped on a cable and it's fused something. I'm just gonna go do an IR test on the ring main, pull that out, um, which is the ring, it's this one. So it's, the thing is, nothing's plugged in, but it's still jumping up. Milliamp. I turn it off. I'm 99% sure we we'll get everything. We've turned a few spurs off with we'll the sockets that we can't access. So that'll be uh, two pole isolators. So the um, the live and the neutral will be disconnected. The earth will be still be connected through, but we're not gonna have a problem doing an IR on that. Everything else has been physically unplugged upstairs and downstairs. Do an IR test, I'm gonna jump in the loft and then we'll convene in a second, right? Yeah. This is like that, yeah? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and then both of these as well? Both the neutrals, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it, guys? Oh, what's he gonna find? Oh, your arm's not in the way at all. Right, they're both linked. Right, uh, we're only doing 250 to start with. You don't have to put on that. No, no, no. That's just literally, literally just there. Hold it on here. Yeah? Yeah. See what happens. Really, that's a dead short, but I can only presume we've. Missed a socket somewhere, something's still plugged in, to be honest. But what the real thing is, the neutral to earth. So if we link, get rid of the lives. Just that. Yeah, and we'll do 250 to start with. It's not going to damage anything. Stick it on both the, uh, the both CPCs. And realistically, even if plug stuff plugs in, we shouldn't get a almost dead short of 0 0.04. We should yeah. be getting something a lot higher. Go on then. See, that's more like it. So I'm happy for you to do... 500 volts through that with such a high reading. Yeah? Yep. Oh, and because it's sending more current down the resistance, it'll yeah. be better. We'll see a better reading if there is a, a short. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. No, it's, I, there's nothing connected there. Yeah. So that makes me think on the socket circuit that is an appliance that is faulty. With this drop down to one milliamp with the socket circuits turned off, the stuff unplugged. After we unplugged everything, it sort of dropped roughly from seven-ish. So you cold, mate? You shut the door. No, get wet. Oh, get the inside's getting wet. That's what your mum said. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, there's profanity on this channel. It's disgusting. <laughs> uh, it dropped down from about seven to about four with everything unplugged, and then slowly it's just dropped down as well. So a combination between a RCD. Degrading, getting down to about 21 milliamps over time to an appliance that's faulty. The only thing we can do, we're going to put these back in, we're going to turn that circuit back on. I'm going to quickly stick my head in the loft and have a look yeah, because so any sure. coincidence there, and we're just going to start plugging in stuff one by one by one until we get like a continuous trip in when something goes on. It's very difficult to pinpoint. We could go around and if you had a pack tester, or well, the earth clamp meter as well, if you plug to plug, there's an adapter with. TIS that they, you plug in the appliance in and you can separate the live and the neutral and the earth separately and you clamp them to see if there's an earth fault on any of the appliances but we don't have one of them right now. TIS, Steve, hit me up. Uh, so we will just, it's literally just trial and error now. So you put that back in mate, we'll uh, liven that back up and we'll go around and start putting some stuff in. Upstairs there was a lot of extension leads with a lot of chargers. There's a battery chargers, there's TV, there's smart TV, there's another TV downstairs. A lot of LED lamps plugged in, um, more chargers like for a laptop, we've got a watch charger, we've got phone chargers, we've got two extension leads behind either side of the bed. Wi-Fi extenders. Wi-Fi, two Wi-Fi extenders, the router, um, and then obviously the kitchen stuff on top. So bear with us and we'll, we'll jump through. But if anything, if you are all screaming at the screen now saying, oh, you haven't tried this, you haven't tested that, just let me know because I hate fault finding. It's probably one of my biggest weaknesses other than attaching Flexicon. Uh, but yeah, let us know. Nick's just upstairs. Right, so. Oh. I didn't say it then. I was on a kill streak. Uh, I'm going to say it now. I can't remember what I said. Nick's upstairs. Right. Nick's upstairs. So I'm down here. <laughs> yeah, but I said that. I said it in context. I said, like, so I'm down here. Keep going again, mate. Yeah. Um, what we did was Nick's had a look in the loft. Nothing visible in there. Um, 
customer did say that it was when the shower was on as well, which Nick kind of forgot, so we tried the shower. And what I did was it tripped instantly with this, currently everything's on and the shower. And then the shower's currently off at the minute and it's drawing 2.4 now. So pretty much everything's gone down after doing IR and stuff. But we figured out it's definitely the shower as what we what it tripped instantly, when, when it tripped instantly, we turned everything off, turned the OCD back on and just had the shower on and it was literally drawing, um, what was it drawing, 21.5 or something like that? Just off the shower alone when it was on. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something wrong with the shower. So are you, are you gonna turn it on to show it tripping? Yeah, so if it's on 2.4 now, yeah, you ready, mate? Go on. If you turn, if you'll turn it on now, it should jump up to like 22. There you are, 22.4 milliamps that is. And obviously, this RCD when we first did the ramp test was um, able to take 21. So yeah, it's jumped up to 24 and then 25 here. Yeah. I said the RCD, like it was going up to 24. Point five or something like that so that was when it was, it was on but this is rated at 21 yeah but i said this ain't tripped like this time because we've had that on and off it might have got a little bit better because it's tripped and stuff. yeah and also at the same time we've not got any sockets any appliances plugged in still this the ring's on but it's not nothing's yeah. plugged in so with the surge of that imagine in the evening like they're all cooking they've got the kettle on or they've got the oven on they've got the fridge on microwave on whatever you turn the shower on Bang, it's off straight away. So, what I would recommend really, it's an old, old shower. It's an original one with the house, is we'll replace the shower. And uh, I'd love to say we'll change the board over, but it's not really acceptable at this point because the house is being sold soon. Bit of a funny one because- We can always replace the, the RCD potentially. We could replace the RCD with a newer one. Yeah, I don't think you'd get hold of one like that anymore. It'd end up being a, that second, a second hand one, which we couldn't. Without testing it, you wouldn't know whether or not it's uh, 21 milliamp as well. Um, I'm happy with the RCD, it's fairly strong. It's stronger than a lot more we've seen. We've tested them before, they're at 14, so you can only just flick the kettle on and it pops off. So yeah, let us know in the comments, what would you do, the thoughts of this. I test fault finding, Adam test fault finding. We're not Sorry. the cleverest blokes doing this at all. Um, but, elimination, process, process of elimination, we've sort of figured out that. It's the just rewire it. We'll put a quote in. We'll rewire. No problem at all, Adam. Cool. Another video on rewire. I'll let you do some on your own, yeah? No, thank you. All right. No, there's too much stuff here to, to move around. Uh, we'll have a bit more of a fiddle. We'll plug some more stuff back in. Keep an eye on the reading. And then we'll jump back at the end. Right. Spoke to the homeowner. See, I'm saying right now. Oh, I say that quite a lot. Sorry. If there's anything that we say on the videos that annoys you, Please let me know below. Just I'd ignore it. I'm not to... changing it. <laughs> yeah, fact. Uh, not right. The shower's gonna get changed over. We just spoke to the customer, and they're having an EV charger fitted at some point. Whether well, it's gonna be me, him, maybe even Jordan, if he has four billion pounds. Uh, so the board's gonna get upgraded. There'll be an RCBO board put in anyway. So for the time being, they can change the shower, see how they get on, sort of manage what they're gonna be using when they're using it. Don't use the shower when you're cooking, vice versa. And uh, we'll go from there. But the circuit test is okay. We did check the immersion as well, because that's one of the key things as well, is the elements, if they've split or cracked, they always trip out RCDs. There's no problem up there. We've turned them on. There's an economy seven one at the top and a normal load off the main board at the bottom. They're fine, so uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video of sort of the process of two idiots. They're getting a new shower as well. Yeah, just at the beginning. Oh, it's a new sorry. shower and you will be. Yeah. You can sit in the back of the van on the way out now. Also, today is uh, Storm Eugene. Is that what they called it? Eugene, yeah. yeah. I couldn't quite read it. I had to get me a to tell me what it said. Mm. I was like, mm -hmm. what And Nick say? decided to park under the world's biggest. <laughs> yeah, look. Let's hope you don't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but tonight I'm traveling down, and I probably shouldn't, down to, we're doing another Bosch film day. So we- Down south. Down south. <laughs> me, Jimmy Plummer Part, Ken Hudson Tylen, and Phil from Kills and, Kill? Phil's Amazing Carpentry. Uh, me, Ken, and Jimmy are staying in a hotel tonight because it's we're filming tomorrow. So I'm going to take them with the camera, we're going to get some footage, just mess around. And I might be able to get some behind the scenes stuff, so keep an eye out for that. But thanks for watching guys, take care now. Bye bye then. Bye!